Hi, in this session we will be looking at the rolling return calculator in InvestWell Mint. Now you may have seen the trailing returns on a scheme's fact sheet. These are point to point, point returns till today. So you must have seen a 3 year trailing return, a 5 year trailing return and a since inception trailing return. This is what we show in our top schemes section. Now a rolling return is the annualized return for a selected period at a given start date and advancing one day sequentially till the last available date which is today. So if I take a, a scheme and a time period it will show all the returns for that time period for every time period available from a given start date till today. Now to, to see this in action you can go to the rolling returns section in your advisor dashboard under the under the utilities menu you can select the schemes by typing the name of the schemes and choosing them then choose a return time period and a start date from where you want to see the graph now this graph plots all the all the return time periods of these four schemes from this start date so from 1st april 2012 it has plotted all three year time periods on a rolling basis so the first entry would be 1st April 2012, three years after that, 1st April 2015. From 1st April 2012 till 1st April 2015 would be the first time period. And then we'll go one day ahead, which is 2nd April 2012 till 2nd April 2015. And so on till today. So this has plotted all these time periods. As you can see here, 8th Jan 2016 to 2nd Jan 2019. For, uh, if you had invested on 8th Jan 2016 and taken your money out on 2nd Jan 2019, you would have got gotten these returns, these returns in the respective schemes. Now this is the compounded annual growth rate, the CAGR return. So people use this to identify what is the highest and lowest return that could have possible that you could have possibly got if you had invested in any three year time period. So uh, people use this uh, for ex uh, when they, ha uh, they have a specific tenure that they want to invest in and they have a specific set of schemes that they would want to compare. So if I want to compare these four schemes for a three year time period, if I have a three year time horizon, then this scheme can show me the highest and lowest return over any period of time. So if my uh, if my tenure of investment was five years, I can choose that and then compare these schemes on that time horizon. So as you can see, the scheme that is most consistent is the scheme that we would want to choose. Uh, you can add up to five schemes here. So if I add another scheme, uh, maybe the benchmark you can all, 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 always also add the benchmark to compare with to see how a scheme's performance is vis-a-vis -vis its benchmark. So you can see uh, the small cap fund has vastly outperformed uh, all the large cap funds in a five year time horizon from 2012 to 2017 If even if you had invested at any point in time at any given day if you had invested a small cap scheme would have done better than any of these four blue blue chips uh, large cap schemes okay uh, you can modify the start date and one uh, quick tip uh, you should not select a start date before the launch date of any of these schemes that would be inaccurate so that's why we have mentioned the launch date of all these schemes Now this is how the rolling return calculator works. Uh, if you have any suggestions about this or if you have any queries related to Mint, you can send them to us at support at investwellonline.com. Thank you.